MX ST50B, quite possibly the best Bluetooth speaker on the market. Hey, what's up guys, it's Josh here. Today I wanna to do a little review on the Samsung ST50B. Now I actually dove pretty deep in depth to almost all the major brands of Bluetooth speakers. Now I noticed that several brands have three different, um, basically sizes and price ranges to their higher end speakers. One of them being Sony, one of them being JBL, one of them being Samsung, and there actually is a couple of LGs in there, but I haven't seen them as much. But all three of those brands have very high-end speakers and they have three different distinct classes and price ranges and you know sound quality increases as you pay more money. So this is the ST50B. So basically Samsung is uh Samsung has the ST40B, the ST50B, and the ST90B. So the ST90B being the strongest one. And I actually got this one on an open box from Best Buy, and I actually got an amazing deal and I can't um, hype Openbox enough. I got this for an absolute steal at Best Buy Openbox for $200. I think it uh, like retails about five, six hundred, seven hundred dollars in that price range. The reasons that I like Samsung, number one, the bi-directional sound. So when you use a normal boom box, it's just facing one way and that's fine. It sounds good, but um, there's times where if you turn the boom box to the left or the right, you just, you're missing out on a lot of that clarity and missing out on a lot of that sound. And Samsung basically gives you like, it's like a triangle. So two parts of the triangle have just speakers on them. So it just covers more of the room. It, it kind of leaves you with less of a dead zone, dead spot. And it just, it's closer to surround sound, even though it's not. And I just absolutely love that fact of it. Um, that's that's you know one that none of the other products have. Now another thing I really like about this is that it has a pretty nice little equalizer setting. I think it has about um, six, seven, eight different kinds of equalizers, and then it also has like a bass boost and a non-bass boost. So it gives you a lot of variety when you want the music to sound a specific way. And I noticed that comparing to the the W King T11, uh, which was one of my favorite speakers of all time, you know I can get a lot better highs out of the Samsung because of that. So. I like the equalizer. I'm sure that a lot of the other brands do. I wouldn't be surprised if JBL does. I wouldn't be surprised if Sony does. But um, the last uh, the last couple speakers I've had pretty much didn't have any equalizer settings. So I really like that. Um, another thing I really like about this one is that you're able to turn it on from your phone. So as long as it's plugged in and you walk into your house, you just go under your Bluetooth, you go click. Um, ST50B and it'll turn on and I just really 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 like that not having to walk over and hit it every time and now I just I'm not sure how much of the other brands of speakers feature that as well but that was just a huge plus and another reason I like that Samsung is that it has pretty good subwoofer size for each product so each product goes up in subwoofer size as you increase in price and I you can't say that about the Sony now Sony had uh, three different kinds again a 500 a 700 900 and unfortunately it was just an absolute boner kill that from the 500 to the 700 all they do is really increase the amount of tweeters and like and like something else in the speaker they don't really increase the base size which was just like i mean i think most people buying like a, a higher end bluetooth speaker are kind of more concerned about having that thicker base because you're spending more money on the speaker you know it's gonna, gonna have more power more watts and you know you just want that heavy base so I like the, the base size, I like the tweeter size. I am kind of like so-so on the lights. I wish they were a little bit um, more bright, more prominent lights, especially when you get up close. It's a little bit, uh, not as like, it's hard for me to put my finger on it, but I wish the lights were a little bit better. Um, they do have a few modes of the lights. So there's like six or seven modes. And you can also go into this uh, settings and pick it to just flash any color. So you can want, you can keep it like, you know, blue, yellow, whatever, just whatever you're kind of feeling. If you have like a theme, you can kind of keep it that way the whole time. But again, the colors weren't that bright and it just could have been a little bit better for me. And comparing this to the JBL real quick, like JBLs, obviously they're very nice. Um, they probably have an equalizer setting. They have the single direction sound, which I really am not a fan of. I really like the, the Samsung's idea of bi-directional sound, just really love it. But but the JBL more premium speakers, and there's like three different kinds, of course, they run on like Bluetooth like four, which is really, really bad. Like I'm pretty sure if you have Bluetooth four, you can't connect to like any modern TV. And we're on, on top of that, we're on Bluetooth like 5.3. So to me guys, Samsung ST50B is the winner. It's my favorite Bluetooth speaker that I've ever purchased. Uh, very bulky, it, uh, it can take some damage. Uh, and, and I would say probably one of the biggest negatives about this product is 
The, fa the fact that it has a lot of watts, I want to say 300 or 400 watts. And one of my old speakers was a W King and that was 100 watts and that absolutely slapped. So if you're getting up to 300, 400 watts, it's got some power. One thing I don't like about this is that when you unplug it, it drops all the way down to 90 watts. Now, it honestly isn't that bad. Like when the times that it's been unplugged, I haven't really noticed. I do, you know, notice a lot of premium sound, a lot of other nice things about it, but that's just a really, really big downfall. I mean, you got this really good speaker. It's got very high quality material and it's got, it's got big subwoofers. It's got a big battery, but it won't, you know, use itself to its max potential. And I think if, you know, they kept most of the power or didn't cut it so, so drastically, that would be quite a bit of an improvement in my opinion. And I can see a lot of people, you know, getting turned off to that, but to me, it sounds really good without it. You're just gonna miss a little bit of that extra oomph. And, and most of the time, like when I'm going somewhere, am I doing something like you're gonna be around a plug. Like very few times are you gonna be like, just like seriously like out at the beach using it all day. And even if you do, it sounds really good and it'll, it's gonna last all day. So uh, I actually bought the Sony, um, whatever it is, 500, there's a 500, 700, 900. It's called like some, num some numbers and letters before that, but I bought the 500 and I was immediately kind of turned off, turned off a little bit, I'm not gonna lie. So, and then on top of that, I have my W King T11, which absolutely slaps. I, I, I highly recommend the T11 still to this day, it's fantastic. But um, this one just takes the cake. It's just, just does everything I wanted to do. And I really don't think there's gonna be another Bluetooth speaker that's gonna impress me more than this one. Let me know what you think of the Samsung ST50B. Let me know what your favorite Bluetooth speaker is down below. It'll be very interesting to see. We're on the road to 50,000 subscribers and I couldn't do it without any of you guys' help. You guys are the best. Have a great day out here. Hopefully have a great day at home. See you all in the next video. Peace. Thank you.